Hi, my name is Madison Shanks, and I'm a fifth grader at North Grove Elementary. And my question for you is, what is your background in government? You know, growing up in a small town in southern Indiana, I had the dream of representing my hometown uh, in our nation's capital when I grew up. And uh, I had the great privilege to be able to do that for the last 12 years. I've been uh, the congressman uh, from East Central Indiana, representing communities from uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, down to my hometown of Columbus and over to Richmond. And, and in those years, I've had the opportunity to serve on the, the Small Business Committee, on Foreign Affairs Committee, on the Judiciary Committee. And I've been able to work uh, uh, in service to uh, uh, people in all 19 counties of eastern Indiana. And, and I hope that uh, my experience and service uh, in our nation's capital and among the people of eastern Indiana uh, has laid a foundation uh, for uh, service as governor of Indiana. I've served in the Indiana House of Representatives for 16 years, the last six as Speaker of the Indiana House of Representatives. The Indiana Legislature is not a full-time job, it's called a citizen legislature. So I was in the legislature part of the year and was in my private job the rest of the year. So I'm proud to say I have state government experience, but I'm not a career politician. My background in government, I have never been elected to any office, but I have worked in the system for Gosh, 20 plus years. I've been working in the, with the Juvenile Detention Center and Adult Correctional Facilities. I have created multiple reentry programs with our uh, uh, men and women coming out of the detention centers. I've worked with our continuing education here in Indianapolis with the J. Everett Light Career Center. I have created multiple businesses. I've put hundreds of people to work. I have shown many young men and women, when you cannot find a job, when you cannot make it in this world, you figure out how to take care of yourself. No, I have never been elected to office, but I'm hoping my first office that I hold is governor of Indiana. Hello, I'm Drake Miller and I'm a student at North Grove Elementary School. My question for you is, what are your plans to help fund education? I'm a former president of Vincennes University, and I understand the challenge of keeping college affordable. I also think that when students graduate from high school, they need to be career or college ready. But when I'm governor of the state of Indiana, the war on school teachers and public education stops. We don't make our schools better by scapegoating teachers. Teachers will have a seat at the table, and they'll be part of the solution. They won't be blamed. And I'm proud to say that I'm the only candidate running for governor that has proposed a pre-kindergarten program. For every dollar we spend in pre-kindergarten, it saves seven dollars over the course of that child's education. That's a great investment. I want to show that we can take some of those administration dollars and put them into our classrooms. We're going to have to restructure the way we spend our tax dollars. And if we build our economy stronger, if we bring more businesses and more jobs into Indiana, we'll have more money to spend on education. That is what I'm talking about with empowering Indiana. It's all connected. Our taxes, our education, our correctional facilities are all tied to our economy. That's how we're going to pay for our education, by making Indiana stronger, by redirecting those dollars and empowering our classrooms. Well, other than public safety, there's nothing the state of Indiana does that's more important than uh, public education. And uh, uh, we come by our commitment to public education uh, uh, pretty personally in our family. My wife Karen's been a school teacher for her whole career, and my father-in-law was actually Indiana State Teacher of the Year back in the 1980s. Uh, I think the key for funding public education, our education broadly in the Hoosier State, is we've got to consistently find ways to fund excellence. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong uh, with education in this state that can't be fixed. Uh, if we give parents more choices and teachers more freedom to teach, but making sure that the state of Indiana uh, is ensuring that the resources are flowing to the teachers, to the schools, and to the school districts that are really succeeding in laying a foundation for our kids. Uh, that'll give them a, a successful college career or give them the tools they need to enter the workplace with success right after they graduate from high school. Hi, my name is Lucas Maxwell and I'm a sophomore at Plainfield High School. My question for all three candidates deals with issues of jobs in Indiana. Both of my parents work two jobs and work hard so they can pay for my future college education on top of everything else. 
What are you going to do about the jobs in our state? You know, remember, back a few years ago, 85%, 84.6% of the businesses in Indiana were small businesses with less than 20 employees. They had 634,000 workers across the state working for those small businesses. And then 08 happened. And, and we've stopped seeing the value in our small businesses. What I hope that I can do for you with decreasing the cost on education and your parents bringing better paying jobs to Indiana and creating a scenario that if we want to create our own business, if we want to create our own world, there are opportunities out there to do it. Those low interest loans, those that help. That's what I hope I can do for Indiana and for you. This is a challenging time for many Hoosiers. With more than 8% unemployment in our state, uh, we've got to make job creation job one. And if I'm elected governor, right after we make sure that we've got enough in our reserves to, to keep our state uh, in strong fiscal health, uh, I think we should cut taxes across the board for every Hoosier in the city and on the farm. Uh, I'm recommending an across the board cut of 10% uh, in our personal income taxes. That'll put several hundred dollars in the pockets of every working Hoosier. But it'll also cut taxes on businesses. Uh, more than 90% of our business enterprises in Indiana file their taxes under the individual uh, income tax rate. Uh, and by lowering that rate, uh, we'll give businesses more resources uh, to hire and to put Hoosiers to work. And lastly, once we cut those taxes, we'll make Indiana the lowest tax state in the Midwest. And that'll encourage businesses that are here and businesses that are looking to the Hoosier state to consider growing here and coming here, and it'll make Indiana more competitive. That's how we make job creation job one. This whole election's about jobs. It's about jobs, it's about education, and it's about people working together. I bought my first business when I was 15 years of age. I know how to create jobs. I know how to make a payroll. I've worked for two Fortune 500 companies. I've been a president of a university. I've had experience in state government and I've balanced the state's budget. So I'll bring both parties together, something that hasn't happened in years, Democrats and Republicans, and we'll take advantage of the state's opportunities in agriculture, advanced manufacturing, life sciences, logistics, and energy. And we'll create jobs so that when you get out of high school or college, you can stay in Indiana if you so choose. This is important to me too, because both of my sons are in college, and I want them to stay in Indiana should they desire to, but we've got to have job opportunities for them to even have that chance. Hi, my name is Kelsey Osborne, and I'm a fifth grader at North Grove Elementary. My question for you is, why should the people of Indiana vote for you to lead the state? As a lifelong Hoosier, uh, I love this state. I love everything about it. Uh, I can think of no higher honor than serving a, uh, as governor of the state of Indiana. But I'm running for governor because I think this is no ordinary time in the life of our state. Uh, I've got a plan uh, to take Indiana from good to great, to take Indiana from reform to results. We've made great progress in the last few years, but in our roadmap for Indiana, we've laid out a plan to get this economy moving again, to get these schools working for all of our kids, and to improve the health, safety, and well-being of Indiana's families, especially our children. Because I love this state, because I have a plan, uh, I believe I'm among the people uh, that could take Indiana from good to great and make Indiana the state that works. And I ask for your support. This election's about jobs, but I appeal to the voters to look beyond the party labels. If you see everything in a rigid way and every issue is left or right, Democrat or Republican, I'm not your candidate. But if you see ideas not as Democrat or Republican, but good or bad, then I'm your candidate. So look beyond that party label. Look beyond the rhetoric and look at the record. I'm the only candidate who's balanced Indiana's budget, improved funding for education, and cut taxes for Hoosiers. And I've done it all in a bipartisan way because working together, we move Indiana forward. If you're expecting a change, you have to elect a change. If you expect things to be different, you have to elect someone that has different ideas. I come with different ideas. I come with those tried and true, tried, tested and true ideas. For 20 years, we have been running empowerment programs. We have been teaching people how to go to work. We have been uh, creating businesses and uh, business opportunities and jobs. 
I am not a career politician, and I do not profess to be. I am trying to go out and get a job for four years, or maybe eight, and make Indiana strong. And then come back and pick up with my mentoring program and my world and my life. The reason that you should give me your vote is because I am going to give us that empowerment, that change, that different attitude in our government. Mm -hmm.